Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're looking at some additional issues that I've seen brought up in various comments, replies, and requests, but which I haven't already done videos on. Last time, we talked about a possible reason why God doesn't do miracles more often, and this time, what evidence do we have of the death of Jesus? Now, because the crucifixion of Jesus was a historical event, the evidence for it will also be historical, and will be found in documents from the time shortly after the event took place. Many of these documents, in fact, the most reliable ones, are included in what we now call the Bible. Here are the most relevant portions of those texts referring to Jesus' death. Therefore doth the Father love me, because I lay down my life that I may take it again. No man taketh it away from me, but I lay it down of myself, and I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. This commandment have I received of my Father. John 10, 17-18 here, Jesus predicts his own death. And Jesus again, crying with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. Matthew twenty-seven fifty. And Jesus, having cried out with a loud voice, gave up the ghost. Mark fifteen thirty-seven. And Jesus, crying out with a loud voice, said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And saying this, he gave up the ghost. Luke twenty-three forty-six. Jesus, therefore, when he had taken the vinegar, said, It is consummated, and bowing his head, he gave up the ghost. John 19.30 For I delivered unto you first of all, which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the Scriptures. 1 Corinthians 15.3 each of these passages, keep in mind, was written by a different man. They're separate sources, which is one thing that makes them so valuable. However, the events that followed the crucifixion are also significant. But Pilate wondered that he should be already dead. Mark 15:44a. For a crucifixion, Jesus' death was uncommonly fast. Pilate was surprised about it, and he'd undoubtedly overseen a lot of executions. The soldiers therefore came, and they broke the legs of the first, and of the other that was crucified with him. But after they were come to Jesus, when they saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. John 19, 32-33 The soldiers were surprised that Jesus died so fast too. If someone died that quickly, the first thing you'd ordinarily do would be to double-check to make sure he was dead. That's what they would have done at the time, and just to be sure, they jabbed a spear into his side. Now the centurion, and they that were with him, watching Jesus, having seen the earthquake and the things that were done, were sore afraid, saying, Indeed, this was the Son of God. Matthew twenty-seven fifty-four. The centurion, believed by some to have been named Longinus, was a military man who had probably watched people die before this. However, with this word here, was, he also shows himself to have been a man of fact. All of this is important evidence, though I think my favorite is the first verse I included here, where Jesus predicts his own death, because, as God, his personal statements are incapable of containing falsehoods. Christus, from whom the name had its origin, suffered the extreme penalty during the reign of Tiberius at the hands of one of our procurators, Pontius Pilatus. Annals, Book 15, Chapter 44, written by the Roman historian Tacitus. The Christians, you know, worship a man to this day, the distinguished personage who introduced their novel rites, and was crucified on that account. The Death of Peregrine, by Lucian of Samosata. He was Christ, and when Pilate, at the suggestion of the principal men among us, had condemned him to the cross, those that loved him at the first did not forsake him. Flavius Josephus is Antiquities of the Jews, kinda. The section of the text that this quote comes from is a bit controversial, as some believe it to have been altered later by Christian copyists, but the mention of Jesus doesn't intrude into the text, so it seems to be something Josephus was writing about, even if he may not have phrased it quite this respectfully in his original work. In fact, there's much more corroborating evidence for the death of Jesus than for other events from that period in history, and no sources from that time period contradict these facts about Jesus. Next, is there more to people than just their physical bodies? 
That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.